Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor back for more of our Aqua New Bro adventure. And, uh, well, I think the first thing I want to do is, um, talk about adjusting our chat frame here a little bit. One of the things that I usually do, um, <clears throat> switch to show compact member list so I can see more names here. Um, in this, uh, like in the rookie help channel, doesn't really matter that much, but if you're in local, this can be very useful because this is going to be, um, <clears throat> your first warning, uh, if there are any gankers or thieves in the system. Um, so the green star here means they're in your corporation, um, <clears throat> It, you want to be careful if you see anything yellow or red. Yellow means um, they're doing uh, suspicious activity, so they might be, you know, they might be uh, stealing other people's wrecks or loot or something like that. Um, red means that they've been uh, engaged in combat against another player. Um, and of course, uh, you can also mark people or corporations or even alliances um, as friendly or hostile or whatever. And uh, you'll see that uh, reflected here as well with uh, red, yellow, green, blue uh, icons. <clears throat> um, so then the other thing that I do is um, for the text. I set it to show text only and also show timestamp um, because if you have several chat channels open and you're not watching them all, uh, like for example, you, know, you can see here I've got three, right? Local, my corp, and rookie help. Um, and I'm only watching one of them at a time, right? So you can come back to a, so, this uh, blinking and the little highlight here tells me that there are new posts in the rookie, rookie help chat. But, you know, that new post might have happened an hour ago while I just wasn't paying attention to chat. So uh, show timestamp uh, can help you, you know, not be that guy who comes in and answers a question an hour after it was asked. Um, Anyway, uh, please excuse any sniffles or sneezing. There's a, there's a forest fire in the area, and it's uh, causing some poor air quality. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, I have a bit of a, I guess you could call it an allergic reaction to that. Um, so, uh, let's see. Uh, overnight, we trained, uh, let's see, reprocessing, light drones, very cool. All right. So again, reprocessing is going to uh, increase um, how much minerals we get from refining ore, and uh, uh, light drone operation, I believe, is going to increase our the damage of our drones. Um, all right, so let's take a look at what we have on offer right now. All right. Uh, <clears throat> now, one thing I like to do is uh, switch my inventory over to the item hanger. Um, Any time that I'm about to take a quest, uh, that will uh, give me some item. And that's because new items by default are added here at the end. And that way, um, you know, it's not so much of a problem right now. Uh, I've only got 38 items, but um, your, station, your normal item hanger can hold up to a thousand items. Um, and that can make it a little bit difficult to find things. Um, obviously, you can use the search bar if you remember what the thing you're looking for is called. Um, 
you know, but I'm at an age where uh, I don't like to rem to uh, have to rely on me remembering things. So anyway, we'll accept that. Uh, we don't need the afterburner for now, but we'll put that in our ship um, and close that. What else do we have? Destroy pirates at the convoy ambush. Um, we'll do that later. <clears throat> uh, choir. Ah, right. We'll do that in a different ship. And what's this one? Ah, we'll do that also in a different ship. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so um, in general, I can usually a uh, uh, set destination from the uh, from the mission uh, description page before I even accept it. Um, you can right click on a location. Um, so, and, uh, and set, uh, a destination that way. <clears throat> so in this case, we've got five jumps Don't and drive. it is I all high sec 1.0, 1.0, 0 0.9, 0 0.8. So, um, <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll take this opportunity to talk about autopilot a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do the rest of this trip in uh, autopilot so we've just exited the gate Open to stargate. Um, drive active. <clears throat> and uh, let's sort of let's try and notice the timing uh, of things here right so um, as you may have noticed um, doing uh, jumping manually basically jump right to the gate there's a second or two of delay before we enter the gate in this case uh, we come up about 10 kilometers away um, and then we have to approach before we jump now that's not too bad in a venture because um, what we're going 384 meters per second so we can approach that pretty quickly but if you're in a bigger ship like a like a hauler or um, you know battleship or something like that that can really get quite slow um, and make you quite vulnerable right because all of that time that you spend uh, <coughs> approaching the gate is time that uh, a ganker could be targeting uh, and killing you. Um, so that's the downside of autopilot, is it gives your enemies plenty of chance to kill you um, if they know where you're going. Um, <clears throat> I have flown through plenty of gates where uh, gankers were waiting um, and usually the way I survive is by not doing autopilot. Um, jump manually. Um, you know, if you have to, hit your your propulsion mod uh, to get uh, within jump range of the gate. And just hope you can get through uh, faster than they can kill you. And for the most part, I've, I've been successful. I don't think I've ever been... 
uh, killed by a gate camp when I was actually uh, paying attention. I have been uh, I have been killed at gate camps while on autopilot. So, um, not to say that that's a guarantee. Um, and there are a variety of ways that you can get killed real fast, faster than you can get through a gate. Uh, but, you know, as a general rule, you increase your survival chances considerably um, if you're jumping manually. Um, now, of course, on this particular route, we're going through a bunch of 1.0 systems. Um, you can see... Uh, flying around here in the blue and white, the uh, security forces. So if anyone was going to try and gank us here, um, <clears throat> they'd get they'd get hit very very quickly. Um, that would be a a difficult gank uh, to pull off and survive. Drive active. Um. Our destination is 0 0.8, but that's still pretty high security. Um, and as a general rule in high sec, I'm not terribly worried um, about ganks. And I don't really uh, account for them while I'm traveling in high sec. Um, that said, I don't usually spend time around Jita. Right, so if you're in if you're in the systems that connect directly to Jita, um, like perimeter especially, um, autopilot is probably not a great idea. Um, because Jita is the biggest market. There's a lot of uh, a lot of high value uh, cargo coming in and out of there, and therefore it's popular with with uh, gankers. So. Um, but if you're off in the relative hinterlands, uh, like Maluka, um, you're probably pretty safe. Even even in Rens and Heck, I've I've uh, I've never really had a problem in either of those systems. Um, although uh, approaching station, um, the route. Uh, from Heck through uh, uh, Utinder, Bay, uh, Hagler, that can be a little bit risky at times, but um, since I don't do a lot of stuff in, in low sec, um, it's generally requested. not too much of an issue uh, for me. Docking and when I do need accepted. to go through those, um, I have a couple of ships that are Auto that are set up to jump disabled. very One quickly, um, and typically those are small ships, but that's fine because I'm not carrying much. Um, usually just uh, uh, for research missions, which I don't know if we'll be able to do any of those on this character um, as long as we continue with Alpha. Oh, got a phone call, so I will be pausing. Pilot engaged. Warping to Stargate. Warp drive active. Approaching Stargate. Auto 
autopilot jumping. Walking to Stargate. Warp drive active. Approaching Stargate. Autopilot jumping. Walking to Stargate. Warp drive active. Approaching Stargate. Autopilot jumping. Stargate. Warp drive active. Approaching Stargate. Autopilot jumping. Stargate. Warp drive active. Approaching Stargate. Autopilot jumping. Warping to station. Warp drive active.
Approaching station. Docking permission requested. <clears throat> Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Autopilot disabled. Waypoint reached. Okay, let's check out what all we got. Got some skill points. Ah, mask. Important. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and back to our burst here. Okay, so civilian remote shield booster and let's see I think we can just yeah there we go good to active ship If I remember correctly, uh, there are going to be some enemies guarding this, so we're going to want um, we're going to want a gun. Destroy pirates. Uh, do that later. <laughs> Okay, cap booster. So let's take a look at this real quick. Uh, required skills. We have required minerals. So pyrite. Um, so you can see here in high security, we can get these from Scordite and Pyroxeres. And then we need Mexilon comes from pyroxeres and plagioclase um now normally uh you know one of my other characters i'd be in a bit of a hurry to get through these so i'd probably just buy the pyrite and mexilon um but i think in this case we're going to mine them um be as self-sufficient as an alpha new bro can be um, and so because of that we're gonna wait on this one uh, and maybe maybe have an entire episode devoted to that um, so but for now let's see we will fit this uh, Let's see. Have we had some more. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. Well, invert 
Grid selection, drag every all of this into here. Uh, what do we have? We got uh, fusion, sure, and uh, depleted uranium. Um, <clears throat> now, I usually use phase plasma um, just as kind of my general all around ammo, uh, titanium sabo, uh, I will occasionally use if I need a lot of range. EMP is uh, excellent against shields. Um, so if you know that you're going against uh, mainly shield tank or enemies with a lot of shield tank, um, then EMP is going to be a good choice. Um, in this case, we're not super concerned. Uh, we'll go with depleted uranium, which, if I recall, has decent damage, and then fusion does a fair amount of heat damage, I think. Um, but we're not super concerned about doing damage uh, on this guy. We might have a couple of like rookie enemies guarding the, the box when we go to, ha to uh, hack it, but... Um, other than that, we're going to be all right. And... <coughs> drive active. I forgot to fit a salvager, so we won't be salvaging this time, but that's okay. drive active. All right, so obviously I'm targeting our enemy here, let's see, our range is... Oh, fusion does explosive, okay. that sort of obvious, I guess. Um, but let's see, our optimal range is 500, fall off range is 5200, so we're definitely too far away to shoot. Um, I have also targeted the Angel data storage device because um, you have to target it in order to use the data analyzer on it. All right, let's shoot that guy. Um, range on the data analyzer is 5,000 meters. So um, go ahead and start hacking while we're shooting that guy. There you go. Grab the stuff. Let's see. Does he have any loot? He does. Metal scraps. Excellent. Um, now we'll go and help this guy. Warp drive active. <coughs> oh, sorry. I've been trying to mute whenever I feel a cough coming on, but I just forgot that time. Damaged vessel, so we're gonna orbit him, uh, <clears throat> lock him as a target, and what's our range on this? 30 kilometers. Cool. All right. So yeah, we'll just uh, start repairing. There we go. He's functional. He's off to the races. Uh, so we can go back. 
warp drive active. And turn these in. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So what's he going to have for us next? Uh, another transport mission. Cool. Um, this guy. Complete. And the next mission here. <coughs> So this is the other one where we will want to buy full insurance because this ship is going to be destroyed. Um, yeah, cool. All right. So uh, that'll probably be an episode in and of itself because I've uh, got thoughts on how to prep for that. And uh, I feel like it can be an exceptionally profitable mission if you set everything up correctly. So, anyway, uh, that'll be it for me today. Um, so, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>